new tonight. It was 32 years ago tonight when Mark Bonacotti, son of Miami Dolphins great Nick Bonacotti, played in his last football game ever. He was 19 years old when he collided with another player and was paralyzed. Well, it was a devastating moment, of course, but in a new candid tell-all book, Bonacotti says that that moment actually turned his life around. CBS 4's David Sutter reports. Thursday night, Mark Bonacani signed books with his mouth, the quadriplegic refusing to let tragedy define him in his new candid book about his life. I want to tell my story to be able to try to inspire people about the way I've lived my life despite my challenges. He holds nothing back. Tonight, while joined by his 1984 classmates at Columbus High School, he recalled his high school days that he spent mostly high. I think we called him Christopher Candace High. <laughs> He barely graduated high school, went on to play at the Citadel, and had a great season until that fateful moment, October 26, 1985. And right away, I knew I was paralyzed. Right in that split second. It would change not just his life, but the player he hit, Herman Jacobs. I give you Mark Bonacani. Jacobs surprised Bonacani this evening. After the accident, Jacobs quit football and life for that matter. He credits Mark with saving him. I love that guy. I'll be wherever he has me to be or do, I'm going to be there. The two eventually became great friends, even living together. That tragedy brought us together, but that didn't define us. We we're able to make something beautiful and positive out of a difficult situation. Mark helped Jacobs pursue a dream of becoming a chef. Jacobs now helps Mark with the Bonacani Fund that gives hope for new breakthroughs for those paralyzed. And that is what Bonacani is hoping people take from his book to make an impact. From the darkness to the light, you know, that even though you have difficult times, you can still become a positive person in the future. All the proceeds from the book are going to the Bonacati Fund, and that money is what goes to the Miami Project to Cure Paralysis. 30 plus years in the making, they're having tremendous success. Seven FDA clinical trials underway, and it all started with what happened 32 years ago today. In Southwest Miami Day, David Sutter, CBS 4 News, tonight. Well, congratulations to Mark on his new book. Yeah, I look forward to reading that one.